What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 wearables that you should look out for in 2015, so let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 5 is one of my favorites, the Block Smartwatch. So this is a modular smartwatch that enables you to add customizable third party modules that make up the strap via the Block Store. So some of the stuff you can add is SMSs, you can add heart rate monitors, and you can have your choice of a round and rectangular display. You'll even be able to add more advanced stuff like a fingerprint scanner and a camera and extra battery, um, a lot of cool stuff. You can even add an eating display. So this is going to be a truly build your own smartwatch. So coming in at number 4 is the Oculus Rift Consumer Edition. So this is a virtual reality headset and so the Consumer Edition, some of the things you know about it, it's going to be much sleeker than the deep kits that we've got. Uh, so it's going to improve the overall balance and stability. It's going to put on like a baseball cap they've said. It's going to be uh, PC powered so it's going to be compatible with Windows 10 and it's going to be, it will come box eventually with the Xbox One. Uh, you'll be able to use the Xbox One control pad and you'll be able to uh, stream Xbox One games with this guy, but it's going to be only for a certain game. Oculus will be throwing in their Oculus Touch controllers. They'll be a part of the plan to make the experience more immersive and better. Uh, so, for the price of this guy, it's going to be around $1,500. So, it's going to be really, uh, you know, pricey, but it's going to be on sale somewhere around late this year to around early 2016. So, coming in at number three is the Intel Made. Nixie. So Nixie is a wrist mounted drone with a camera that leaps into the air to grab your action selfie before landing back where it started sort of like a boomerang. So this is sort of like a drone. It takes selfies and it's a pretty cool little guy. So you can expect this guy to come late 2015 and it seems really cool if you're interested in taking a lot of selfies and you want to take some really cool ones. So coming in at number two is Sony's Project Morpheus. So this is going to take on the Oculus Rift. So so many things that make it different. Sony's going to be using a new revolutionary sound of their new 3D audio technology so the sound is going to be extremely realistic with this guy it's going to be awesome uh, another thing they're going to be using with this guy is a full 1080p head mounted display and it's going to be at 5 inches so that's one of the things you can expect and for the controllers you're either going to have the option of the DualShock 4 controller or the PlayStation Move controller so really excited for this one I've heard a lot of great things from reviews so we're looking for this guy late 2015 hopefully so coming in at number one is when I'm really excited for the next wave of Android Wear smartwatches. So a second gen Moto 362 is due for 2015 and a LG G Watch R with 4G is due, an updated version. Uh, so manufacturers are seem to be going to be working on uh, better fitness features, smaller designs with extra battery life and doing some major improvements with the speed. Uh, so I'm really excited for this. Uh, thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.